When you're someone like me and constantly in the market for cringy content, you never really know what you're gonna find. Sometimes you'll find a video so cringy that it makes your balls retreat into your fucking stomach. Other times you'll find content that is definitely cringe, but has no reaction value whatsoever. But you know it's gonna be a good day when you find a fucking gold mine of cringe. And that's exactly what we have here today. We have here a man named Lou Skunt. And he's basically a man-child who dresses up as Jason Voorhees and records videos in his laundry room threatening people. This video is called, Bring It On Mark Anyone Else? As you can see, uh, this title looks like it was made by an illiterate 10-year-old. <laughs> What's this I hear? Can it be Mark Dumb Jones calls out the almighty Lou Skunt? This guy is trying too hard to be intimidating. <sighs> but unfortunately, it's always got to be the retards out there with the big muscles. Piss this guy off, and he'll snap you right in half. If you somehow manage to not die of laughter or cringe, he'll finish the job with a mercy killing at that point. Yo, I wouldn't be surprised if I went into his basement and found a few bodies on top of a pile of his unwashed cum socks. Mark, bitch boy, any time, any place, you can never compete with the love that I can show everybody. Fuck you! Bring your friends, bring your relatives, bring your fucking doggies with you. I will fucking destroy you, Mark. Any time, day or night. You know what? I bet Mark is probably sitting back with a beer, laughing at this video. Laughing. I want to give Lou the benefit of the doubt and say that he might be a troll. But from what I've seen of his content and the way he interacts in the comments, I think this guy is fucking legit. And it's not this guy's cringy Mr. Tough Guy act that's scaring me. It's the fact that there are autistic people like this on the Earth. I would have thought evolution got rid of the Neanderthals, but apparently they're alive and well. Anywhere, any place, come to our meetup. Come to Colorado, come to the Swedes house, because anytime you call me out, boy, I'll fucking meet you anywhere, any place. And all you little faggots that want to jump on board with my mark, Whatever the fuck his name is, jump on board. I'll take each and every one of you on. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's the end of the video. Mr. fucking Kool-Aid Man was just, oh, yeah, is pissed off and he's ready to rumble. Not only will he take on Mark, but his entire family, his entire fan base, and apparently his dogs, too. And you know what? He'll probably win. I think his brain is so fucking gone that he can't even feel pain. So, after watching a little bit of this video, you're probably wondering, who in the hell is Mark? Mark Dumb Jones. Mark Jones. That's gotta be one of the most generic names I've ever heard. I have a hard time even believing that's a real person. That's probably Lou's imaginary friend. I even might take it a step further and say, that's his imaginary lover. But regardless, I have some speculation. I think Mark is a person who made an exposed video on him. And I came to this conclusion after delving deep into the cancer, or I mean, the comment section of this video. Clearly, from this comment, we can tell Mark caught him out on something. But this comment really told me all I needed to know. The one dissing Princess Bubbles, or Princess Cum Bubbles, as he likes to call her, who I was actually able to find in YouTube search. And this is a woman who made a video compilation essentially exposing Lou for being a racist. I'm not a racist guy. I wanna make that clear. I just hate Obama's treatment by the media. Coon spicks and Arabs, cocks and chinks. All words I don't want people using when they speak. I don't like them black folks, songs I prefer rap, yo. Black's more likely to murder bars and rhymes on a track. Princess Bubbles has about 50 subs, 
so she's not very relevant in comparison to his channel size. And her video quality does leave much to be desired, but considering that my channel is just about as big as his, he'll probably want to respond to this. And I hope he fucking does. I went a little bit easy on him in this video. So if he wants to come at me, I'll strike back and I'll strike back ten times fucking harder. I'll save you all a bit of time and essentially predict what he'd say in a response. He'll probably bring up that he gets on average 10 times more views than I do per video. He gets about 300 views and has 500 subs. I'm at about 400 subs, almost this size, and only get about 40 views per video. Listen here, you albino illiterate fuck. Here's the difference between me and you. I'm not being shouted out by Reddit Crins, which is where I found your video. Your cult-like following will probably attack my channel after you make a response. And by all means, go ahead and send them like you did to the other channels. I'll get a good laugh from it. Second, he'll probably call me, and anyone who agrees with me, a faggot. Or some random racial slur that he can come up with. Or, he'll try to find some way to relate me to his lover, Mark Jones. Shut the fuck up, you brain-dead albino cousin fucker. I bet the reason why you wear that mask is because you're trying to hide the fact that you're probably inbred. What are we going to find under there? One nostril as big as a watermelon? An underbite the size of the Grand Canyon? And a face that looks like someone ran over it with a lawnmower? I know the KKK likes to hide their face. It's a bit of a strange coincidence. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. If you agreed with anything I said and enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below. It's really gonna help me out in case we have the Third Reich over here deciding to dislike bomb my content. And if you're gonna dislike bomb the video, be sure to comment down below so I can laugh at you too. And subscribe if you're new here for some quality ass content. Thank you for watching and have a gloriously Glorious day.